Well, whether your basement is finished and livable or used for storage, you need to consider waterproofing it. In a segment sponsored by Innovative Basement System, Jason Krejci is here to talk about the importance of basement waterproofing. Good morning. Morning. Good to have you here, man. Good to be here. So let's just start with this. Why do, why do basements leak in the first place? Well, the first place basements are going to leak is, you know, whether your house is built in the 1970s or just recently, the first thing they do to build your house is they come in and dig a huge giant hole. With our clay soil, it holds water. You know, we call that the clay bowl effect and really can start to create a false water table underneath your house where water can then start to seep in, whether it's through a crack in your foundation or even underneath your slab as well. So you're seeing this, I'm guessing, a lot in our area since we do have a lot of new builds, but also a lot of old established neighborhoods. Yeah, I mean, we see it in houses that are as old as two weeks old or, you know, houses that are hundreds of years old as well. There's no rhyme or reason as far as age of the house. It just has to do with the soil that we live with here in the valley. Wow. So it sounds like, what well, I'm going to say is, hey, it's pretty much inevitable for most people. So how do you prevent it? The ways you can prevent it, you know, as a homeowner is, you know, you can go out and <clears throat> make sure your gutters are cleaned out, um, uh, your downspouts are down, also making sure that your sump pump is being operable, working properly. I also would, you know, highly recommend it, that way you don't wake up one morning walking through water. Purchasing a battery backup system as well. Mm -hmm. Also an alarm system to alert you of any issues that are happening with that sump pump as well. I know we've had a couple times when my parents have dealt with that where the sump pump stopped uh, working and then you got to go and sponge up your basement. It's not a very fun thing to do. Right. Absolutely. So how do you ensure that your sump pump's working correctly? You can go down there, um, uh, <clears throat> go down to the um, uh, sump pit and actually lift up on that float and that's going to tell you if it's operating, making sure it's w working free and properly. Also, maybe dumping a five gallon bucket of water down into that sump basket, mm -hmm. making sure that the float isn't sticking, all that fun stuff. Okay. Interesting. All right, much more on this right after this short break.